My name is Alice Hernandez Iona. It's hyphenated, <laughs> a long name. Um, when I was diagnosed, it was September 9th, 2010. Um, quite a year because I had just finished the Art Affair Festival in Laguna Beach. That ran for 10 weeks during the summer and I was feeling great. And then not even a week later on September 9th um, was when I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. I've been doing more of the still lives. It's, it's more relaxing, especially through my chemotherapy treatment. Everybody asks me this, has it changed your painting? And I continue to paint through my chemo. And my goal is to make each painting better than the one before. So it hasn't changed. If anything, I think it might have gotten better. I hope they look better. I think they're better. This painting here, the title of it, it's called Love Affair. A fair and the reason why I named it that was last year was the first year I got into my big show in Laguna Beach the um, Art Affair Festival they juried me in with this painting and a couple others that was within just a few months the same year so it went from being absolutely wonderful to being absolutely terrible because I'm thinking I just started painting I can't die <laughs> there's no way I got too much to do <laughs> so that was when I, Dr. Torari came in and said you know my patients don't die. <laughs> they say seven out of ten women die, and I'm hoping to be that three out of the ten that make it. And from what Dr. Tarari has told me, the odds are looking pretty good. He had talked to me about the um, trial, clinical trial, and when he t asked me about that, if I wanted to be a part of it, I was like, of course I want to be a part of it. I, want, I don't want other people to have to go through this, and if I can help in any way, then I'm not going to say no. I'm in remission, but I guess most people aren't really in remission until after treatment's done, but because he went in and did a CAT scan after the six month, and he said everything looked great, cancer's not back. Um, he thinks I'm doing great. He tells me I'm just not normal because I don't act like I'm a cancer patient. I just keep, you know, staying active. So I guess that's a good way of being not normal. <laughs> I'll take it. Everybody or anybody out there that asked me, I would very highly say, yes, go to UCI, because here I am, not even a year later, is feeling as good as I do. Anytime I go to a chemo session, I don't dread it. I, I just think, okay, I get to go in there and just relax for a few hours and talk to the nurses and, you know, see how everybody is and just get better.